Inside the world's only 7-star hotel In this video, we are going to give you a special tour inside the world's only 7-star hotel, the Burj Al Arab. It is one of the most incredible structures on Earth, matched with ultimate luxury that will only cost you about $3,000 per night minimum. So, as we proceed, be sure to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video with your friends. When you enter the Burj Al Arab grounds, you'll be overwhelmed by Dubai's most luxurious towers and witness elegance at the epitome magnum. The Burj Al Arab is a work of art that resembles a ship sail and overlooks Dubai city. It is one of the world's tallest hotels, built on an area that was previously called Miami Beach, which is located on a coastal island 200 meters away from the former Chicago Beach Hotel. Established in 1971, the United Arab Emirates moved rapidly to establish and construct one of the world's most prestigious hotels in just 28 years of its inception. The name Burj Al Arab literally means the Arabian Tower. However, it was crafted by British architect Tom Wright. Constructed in Dubai's coast in 1994, it took about five years to construct. Three of these years was to establish the island and the remaining two years was allotted to set up the actual hotel. At any given moment, a foreign team of over 3,000 contractors, 250 designers, and 3,500 workers were working on site. The tower was constructed using over 60,000 cubic meters of concrete and 900 tons of steel. Finally, in 1999, the hotel opened and sealed Dubai's first world record-breaking establishments. The Burj Al Arab is located on an artificial and private island 15 kilometers south of Jumeirah, one of Dubai's earliest low-rise communities, with a private curvin bridge connecting it to the mainland. Currently, it is one of Dubai's tallest hotels, with one of the most exclusive viewpoints of the skyline. Although the hotel abides by strict limited access, tourists can enjoy tours where they can have the privilege of viewing the city from a coastal vantage point while sitting comfortably in some of the world's greatest and perhaps most luxurious interior design. Only 202 double-floor suite rooms are available in the 321-meter hotel, which has nearly 39% of its building inaccessible for living space. Since most of the people in the world would consider a vacation here a once-in-a-lifetime experience, the suites are the best quality with prices starting at $2,000 a night if you make the reservation in advance. The Burj Al Arab is a popular photo scene for both local and visitors. Even if you are just in a nearby area, the hotel is surely a magnificent picturesque site even worthy for postcard pictures. Yet the interior is much more magnificent. Like the ancient Roman's architecture, Burj Al Arab has an atrium but this one is flanked by golden columns, providing soft natural light. A fountain in the center shoots water 42 meters into the air, presenting a breathtaking sight. There is also one-of-a-kind waterfall in a kaleidoscope effect produced by combining fiber optics and exquisitely atomized water. The Cascade Waterfall is a beautifully built waterfall with the water arching gracefully in a well-choreographed movement as water and fog steam downwards through the glass and stone-filled stairs. Once you make your way to the main hotel lobby, you'll notice there are three aquariums. Two are located on each side of the lobby, and the third is the circular aquarium in the Al Mahara Oyster Restaurant, which can be reached through a simulated submarine voyage. This massive seawater aquarium holds approximately 900,000 liters of water and accommodates a female shark that has had four years of virgin births, a record that is never before reported among sharks. Plus, the aquarium also accommodates 50 different species. For rather extreme opulence, the Japanese Junsui restaurant has its lounge ceiling covered in 29,000 Swarovski crystals, arranged in the form of a view of our wonderful galaxy known as the Milky Way Galaxy. And just like the restaurants, the hotel's interior and in hall is crafted from the finest materials available on our planet. This includes some personalized carpets and rugs from South Africa and India, marble from Brazil and Italy, and of course, the one-of-a-kind doors from Dubai itself. The interior was decorated with 24-carat gold leaf. The gold leaf is estimated to be 1,790 meters long. Despite its size, 
The Burj Al Arab only has 28 double-story floors with over 200 bedroom suites. The suites range in size from 169 square meters to 780 square meters, so you'll surely have lots of space to lounge around in. The royal suite with the most space is fit for a Maharaja or a high king. It has a cinema area, two master bathrooms, full-size jacuzzi with five head rain showers, and a stunning matchless council design lounge in the library. There are also 18 panoramic suites, two presidential suites, 142 one-bedroom deluxe suites, four club suites, 28 two-bedroom luxury suites, and two royal suites. The Al Mantaha, the ultimate restaurant, located 200 meters above the Persian Gulf, has a full cantilever that spans 27 meters from either side of the mast. It has a gorgeous view of Dubai even while in the panoramic elevator. Apart from this, there is also the Talis Spa that combines the highest greatness with the allure of an elevated lifestyle. In the hotel has received the award for Best Luxury Hotel Spa in the World Luxury Spa Award Global Winners category for the second year running. The hotel has its own helipad and that just increases the adventure because you can book a 15-minute tour around the city via a helicopter. But that's going to cost you an arm and a leg. For the convenience of the guest, each floor has one reception desk for a total of 60 in the whole hotel. And the friendly female employees at the front desk wear Burj Al Arab logo-shaped gold earrings and necklace pendants. For more bang for your buck, you'll be surprised to learn that all guests have access to 17 different types of pillows available on their pillow menu so you can freely pick the softness of the pillow you want and your own personal butler is available anytime you want. These butlers are available 24-7 and cater to all of your needs, including getting that thicker pillow that will do wonders for your neck and back. They even have pet sitters that you can entrust your pets with while you are having the best time of your life. And when you need to run some errands, Burj Al Arab has one of the world's largest fleets of Rolls Royces to get you where you need to go. For other adventure, the Burj Al Arab also has a designated turtle hospital. The Dubai Turtle Rehabilitation Project DTRP, is based in the Burj Al Arab and Medina Jumeirah and it treats sick as well as injured sea turtles in partnership with Dubai's Wildlife Protection Office, Dubai Falcon Clinic and the Central Veterinary Research Laboratory. Since its inception in 2004, the project has successfully released over 1,600 rescued sea turtles into the Arabian Gulf. With this being a great deal, it is in no doubt that the luxurious hotel comes with a heavy price. It is indeed one of the costliest hotels to stay in. The suite starts at $2,000 per night and then go up to over $15,000 per night, with the royal suite being the most expensive at $24,000 per night. Some famous celebrities such as Gigi Hadid, Selena Gomez, and Kendall Jenner are seen dropping by this hotel, and the hotel even appeared in movies like The Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol and a few other Bollywood blockbusters. Did you enjoy our tour of the Burj Al Arab? When will you start planning your trip to the world's first 7-star hotel? Leave a comment down below. Then be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell. See you the next time for our latest videos.